the capacity crowd is in postseason form as we get you ready for this one. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Washington Nationals. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Eric Carros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a look at how to check out the lineup for the visiting Dodgers. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? I'll tell you what, this team has their ace on the mound, so it's probably not going to take a whole lot of offense to get a win for them. And with that, let's take a look at how the Nats will align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, when you talk about a position that requires arm strength, right field is one of those. This man, he has arm strength to die for. He could throw it from the wall. He could, he could probably throw it from the darn stands. I hope he gets a chance to show it off in this one. Sent on the ground out to second. Murphy's got it, and he's retired one away. In the second spot tonight, shortstop. In now, Corey Seager, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Scherzer into the windup. 0 oh, 1 pitch on its way. Good change up there as he takes command 0 oh, 2. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson might call a few strikes below the knees from time to time. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. His first homer so far in the series. And the Dodgers strike first, one to nothing. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing. And sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. Batting third. Yes, yeah, he'll take a look at ball one. Justin. Oh, it's so important to be able to strike first in a postseason game. Get that first run in, especially when you're the team playing on the road. Hopefully you can take a little life out of this big crowd. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Set to deliver on two and one. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Ready on two balls and two strikes, here it comes. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, that pitch is so low and such an easy take that you basically waste that opportunity you had on two and two. Adrian Gonzalez steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Here comes the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and, one. and he'll fall behind now to 1-2. and two. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Now here's a spot with a run home already. That looks nice on the scoreboard. But if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. A uh, flip of his glove for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. But the Dodgers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. Home half of the first coming up here at Nationals Park. It's now 1-0 L.A. lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Steve? 
Well, they're already down by one after the top of the first, so you've got to get yourself right back into this ball game. Punch back a little bit and see if you can get your crowd back in. With a moment now, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Dodgers. The it's Nationals. brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need Trey to know? Turner. Well, guys, remember, this manager has not jumped on board with all the defensive oh, shifts. Inside. Still that old-school mentality. Plays guys straight up, so we'll see how that impacts this game. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he takes a cold strike, too. And you know what? These days, so many guys are throwing in the high 90s. It makes those mid to low 90s guys look easy. But I'll tell you what, if he mixes his pitches well, it can still be plenty fast to have to deal with. Oh, he nonchalanted that one as it costs him and goes right by him. At the plate, Jason Wood. He'll get to take his first Jason cuts here. Ward. First offering on its way. Uh, started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Runners on the move for second. Chopped weakly to the left. A bare-handed pickup. It's there, and he's out. Wow, made it look easy. And you know, sometimes these guys make it look so easy, we forget how difficult it is to make a play like that. Not only did he barehand this ball, but he also made a sweet throw on the run over to first base. So often you'll see a guy airmail or short hop a throw like that because of the bad grip you have on the ball. But not in this case. That's a nice play. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Bryce Harper gets his first opportunity here with the leadoff man still standing at second, but with two gone now. Well, a good chance to pick up his teammates right here because they couldn't take advantage of that leadoff double. So he'll look to get something into the outfield and give his man a chance to come around and score. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Might want to stay away from that pitch in the foreseeable future. Yeah, well, whatever that was, he's lucky to get another chance. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. A oh, classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. One left for Washington. They still trail 1-0. Josh Reddick makes his way to the plate. He'll get Dodgers. us started here in the top right of the fielder. second. Josh Reddick. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Big breaker right there with two strikes. And look at how this thing confuses him. A 14-inch break according to swing track. That's a very good hook right there. Standing in now, number 60. 
as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Dodgers have the early 1-0 advantage as we play the second. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. And two quick outs here in the second. Jock Peterson into the box here in the top of the second looking to keep this inning going. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And if you're not careful, this is the kind of guy that can run off six. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Anthony Rendon will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Kershaw is ready. Here's the first pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Peterson comes on now and he has it one down. Batting six. First baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Ryan Zimmerman steps in now. First pitch coming, here it is. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Peterson has it in his tracks, two down. Batting seven, the shortstop, Danny Espinosa. Danny Espinosa gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Grandal is up with it. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. And Kershaw set to lead off the third. Leading Nine, the one, and two do up. Pitcher, well, you know, it's always a tough inning when your pitcher Play leads off for you because Kershaw. most of the time the guys just hey. flat out can't hit. But who knows? Maybe he can get something started here and help himself out. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Now you can see where the third baseman set up here to start the play. He's well off the line with the left-handed hitter up there, so he has no shot of knocking this ball down as it heads to the corner for what will turn out to be a stand-up double. Here's Corey Seager, and the pitch takes off inside, and it gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 oh now. Well, he almost hit him on the last pitch, and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, 3-1. and one. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. And here, I, I mean, if this is a high chopper to short, it's an RBI. If it's a lazy fly to right, it's an RBI. Point is, you've got to put the ball in play with a runner on third and one out. That's just basic execution that's lacking right there. Justin Turner will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. 
Worth is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One left for L.A. They lead it one to nothing. Takes into the box in the Leading bottom of inning Astros. number three. Catcher, Jose Lobaton. Kershaw looks in. First pitch on the way. Well. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. Slider taken for a cold strike. Two and one. All even now. Two and two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And a rather easy first out. And this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there. They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop up and that's exactly what they got. Into the box now Max Scherzer. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Three and one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. On the ground, up the middle, backhanded. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Center fielder, number seven, Trey, Trey Turner. Turner. will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four seam it every one. 